How's it going everyone? I'm Paper Mongoloid and welcome back to Owlboy. I did say last time that we were done, but I remember that we still have one of the golden discs to find, or the ancient discs, whatever it is. Whatever it is. And by continuing it takes us back here. It takes us back to this place, and can we actually get back to where we were going? No, but we can freely fly around here now. I wonder if we can actually go back outside to where we want to go. I'm pretty sure... No, we were always able to fly here, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's it. Never mind. I guess we'll just have to go back to Valley. I'm assuming that's what that thing is. To take you back to where you were before, so you could finish doing what you were doing in the game. Without having to complete the final boss. And let's see if that's right. Memories of Veli flood back to you. Remain in the present or return to Veli. Let's go to Veli. Alright, so we're back in Veli. Looks like everything's still shaking. Present beckons you. Remain in the past or return to the Flooding Tower. Remain in the past. Okay. So, where exactly are we in the past? Or should I say when exactly are we? Oh. At this point in time, huh? Yeah, I know. How about we skip? Because we've already been through all this. There we go. Alright. We can do this, though. We can do this. So, I'm guessing that where we need... Wow, we just went right through that door. I'm guessing where we need to go is that place that I was looking at before that I couldn't quite get to. The place where I said I wanted to go right. And then chose to go left once and ended up progressing the game. So I'm going to head back to that area and see if that is indeed where the final disc is. And if it's not, then I'm pretty stumped. So hopefully it's there. I'll see you when we get there, though. Back to this place where I thought I was going to go right and ended up going left. I forget exactly why I ended up going back to left, but I'm pretty sure we want to go this way. There we go. Something happened and I ended up going back to the, the left. Not sure where that something was. I think we died and... We decided to see what was to the left. I think that's what happened. Let's see what's actually in this place, though. Yep, there it is. There it was the whole time. Hmm. Wonder what it does. I see you. Did my machines and theories break the loop at last? Did I break the world? With this token, you hold the key. The sanctuary beckons you. Give me the answers I, Nocte of the Owls, have always sought. What answer might that be? If the loop was actually broken? Seek the sanctuary. How do I get there? Ancient memories. That means we got all three of them. That means we got everything we set out to get. I have to figure out what to do with it. Give me a minute. I'm going to try and figure that out. I'll be back. Okay, so we can go back to Veli and we can see if we can find where we're supposed to be going. I love that we're able to do this with the Spectre Cloak. This makes the game so much more interesting now. Maybe we can do this from the beginning. Memories of Veli flood back to you. Yes, we're going to go back to Veli. We're gonna figure out exactly where to put this. Now there is somewhere up in Tropos that I saw before, over by Buccaneries. I'm not sure if that's where we're supposed to be going. Or if there's actually some place to place the third one, like we placed the other two already. So this place here? It's still blocked off. Huh. I guess I'm gonna wander around until I find it. Alright, so from Buccaneary Shop, I did just find this and I had a reload checkpoint because I accidentally started putting it in. Here's where we want to put it. Right there, and it should open up that place to the on the very left side of Tropos that I was trying to get to before. Yes, there we go. Nice. That's always what I thought it was going to do. Now we're going to head back over there and see what's in there. The sanctuary. The Owl Sanctuary. No one has been able to get into. Till now, we're going to be the ones to do it. Look how fast we can go, though. 
lightning fast. Oops, wrong one. Let's go down a little bit, and there we go. Let's just walk in here all casual-like. Actually, we know there's nothing to find, so... Speed this along just a little bit. Why not? Hey, birdies. It seems like up is quite possibly a place we want to go. Yes, because we can't open that. We're just flying through this place. We can go that way, we can go up. Alright, we can't go up. We can go the right, though. What are we doing in this place, though? What is the point of it? Examine it. How about not yet? Not quite yet. Oh, we do have different ones we can examine. Okay. Let's go ahead and examine this one, then. Welcome, friend. I am Cernia, of the House of Preservation and Diplomacy. What you see before you is my life's work. The Eternal Sanctuary. A place to record the thoughts of our leaders and artisans. The brightest owls to have ever lived, they say. I hope that the knowledge enshrined here may aid you, and that you will share the wisdom of the owls with all who care to listen. Okay. Is it going to be you every time? Times are changing, it would seem. A Jolius and Nocte, they sure are an incredible pair. The temple guardians they made, terrifying as they are, have kept the temples completely safe. And now Aegeolius tells me that Nocte has thought of a way to, of thinking machines. Aegeolius says he will put them into production soon. My role as a combat instructor may eventually no longer be needed. No wonder those two are never seen apart. Who else can truly relate to such brilliant minds? house of travel for these inventions is it not the duty to roam the skies let us free and healthy and cherished descendants find their own purpose okay that's cool I guess there's only one way to go here I think Nocte is on to the discovery of a lifetime. He's been locked up in his lab for ages and speaks only in whispers about it. Nocte is almost too brilliant. Even Aegeolius can barely keep up with his thinking. The automatons they've created have been revolutionary. If Nocte believes his next discovery will be even greater, I can't imagine what it will be. Alright. We have incredible Nocte, this loop for lead of farming, support him, his debt. Whoa, it's ACO. Oh no, wait, he just looks like him. So this was Nocte's great discovery, the loop. I am disappointed that most of the owls take this seriously. No matter what he says, such a thing cannot be proven. Of course, Aegeolius has taken Nocte's side, as he always does. Inseparable, those two. Even in failure. It goes over my head, he says. I suppose nothing can go over Aegeolius's head. What with how big it got after he made the automatons. Leeching off of Nocte's brilliance has made him quite the reputation. If he didn't have Nocte beside him, he would be no one at all. I will not be talked down to by a self-aggrandizing buffoon. Let's go, Tingle. Let's go this way. See what else this place has in store for us. Seems like we're getting a bit of backstory here. What's up with this? Don't know. There is a path over there, which we do have to go to, okay? Now we can fly through all slow-like. Huh? Can't move. Oh, hey. This is a Jolius. Nocte is gone. One of my automatons went amok. I had it destroyed. But now, I've lost my only friend and the genius behind the hex machine. It's too complicated. Nocte's schematics for the hex machine and his theorems on the loop. 
My own machine is only a pale imitation. This is the best I have been able to come up with. I redid the calculations. The chances of catastrophic failure on the Hex machine are enormous. If it fails, the planet will never look the same again. Countless lives lost, and more lives ruined. 50-50. Those are the odds of success and failure. 50-50. And yet, if I don't complete this task, Nocte's life work, then my soul will die along with him. I have decided to lie to the other owls. I will not tell them of the danger. The hex machine will be built. The loop will be broken. You, my descendant, you will be my backup plan. I will guide one with my crest to this place to listen to these words. Do not be alarmed. That is within my ability. Take the clues I have left behind here and follow them. I only ask... I only ask that you tell no one. No one must know that I, weakest among the owls, and the disgrace of our kind, risk the doom of our world. People must be able to trust each other, even in a world with monsters like me. Good luck. And Nocte. I'm sorry. Wow. Well, let's just barrel on through here. So this will take us to the other side of that door. Yep. So Aegolius is basically like us. These chests have already been looted. I'll take kindly to my chest being looted. How do we get through here, though? Oh. Okay, it was just a false front. Is that it? Is that everything? Yeah. So that's everything. All right. So basically, Nocte was the genius who was going to end the loop. And Aegolius had to take over. The two owls, and most of the owl society thought that those two were geniuses. But it was actually truly only Nocte. It was actually only Nocte all along. The one owl knew better. He knew that Aegolius was just leeching off of Nocte. But still, Aegolius lied to the other owls and tried to finish Nocte's work. And of course ended up messing it up. 50-50 is not good odds. And it seems that his failure, failing to create the hex that Nocte wanted to break the time loop, actually led to the floating continents and broke everything. So the time loop lives on. Alright, this time that really will do it. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I'll see you in the next playthrough.